standing alongside head coach Shaka Daly. Jade? I'm here with Michigan head coach Shaka Daly. Now, coach, you were pretty much in control of that entire first half. What do you tell your team to have them keep the pressure up in front? Obviously, uh, more of the same, <laughs> for sure. I think we had a good tempo to us. We uh, worked real hard, and I think uh, minus the one mistake in the back there, which is our fault, I think we give them the chance. To, uh, it's probably the best half we played for okay. the season. And anything specific you can improve upon going into the second? Yeah, I think, I mean, obviously ramping up the tempo a little bit more. Even if even if we have 10, if they have 10, it doesn't matter. We need to continue to ramp up the tempo and, and get after them. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Back to you. Now we'll send it over to our sideline reporter, Jade Hansen, with Kim barnes -Arica. I'm here with Michigan head coach Kim barnes -Arica. Now, Coach, you held Seton Hall to six points in the first half. What did you like out of your defense there? I thought we played really tough, and I really thought we took away their uh, great scores. And I also thought we did a really good job of rebounding the ball and only giving them one shot. And with such a large lead, what can we expect from your team going into the second? Well, I think it's really important for us not to have a letdown in the second half. I think we really got to come out ready to play in the first four minutes of the second half. is very important. All right, thank you, Coach. Back to you. Back with Michigan head coach Greg Ryan. Now, Coach, I was a very good team. That was a very intense match today. Are you happy with the result? Yeah, I am. I mean, our girls played as hard as they could, as well as they could. Iowa defended incredibly well. They're exceptionally dangerous on set pieces, the corner kicks, and they got plenty of them. It was just a match that probably deserved to end in a draw today. You know, I mean, neither team really got that clear chance that was going to win the game for them. And, you know, credit to Iowa for how well they defended. I felt like our girls kept trying to take the game to them. Obviously, on the shots in, we did. Uh, but that's a tough team to break down, so... Ron Rainey's doing a great job, and, you know, we want to uh, give them some credit, too. Okay. And after two overtimes, your girls have to be exhausted. How is that going to change your preparation for the game on Sunday? We're going to take it really easy tomorrow and uh, have a nice day and get ready for Nebraska. They're a good team. So, uh, yeah, we'll have some tired legs. But we've got some fresh players on the, that didn't play that much tonight that can come on and help us. Okay. Thank you so much, Coach. Back to you, Mike. I'm here with Michigan head coach Joe McFarland. Now, coach, what did you like out of your team in those first five matches? Well, I think we got off to a good start. You know, we won four of the first five, and, and uh, you know, they've, they've got some some, uh, some good ones in their last five, so we got to be ready to go. But we got off to a good start, so we got a lot of momentum on our side. And coming back after intermission, what do you think some of the key matchups are going to be? Well, if you look at you look at all those last five, you know, we need to get get started off at, uh, at 65 with Taylor Masson, and then Danny Yates, our captain, at 74. Uh, and then 84, 97 in heavyweight, you know, we've, we've, we've got uh, Jordan Thomas, uh, Max Huntley, and then uh, Justin Dozier at heavyweight. So those guys, got we got to get out and get after them and set the pace in these next five matches. Great, Coach. Sam, back to you. Thanks.